Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how you can uh, do the plot uh, on the uh, symbolic variables and functions. Uh, we have easy plot function uh, that can be easily used for uh, plotting. Uh, if you want to see this document that I have on this uh, page here, uh, you can easily search for easy plot octo and uh, you will see uh, this page here. Uh, to make sure that you get to the symbolic toolbox, you can type easy plot uh, sim or symbolic um, octave. Um, so let's see some examples. This one can be used in, in, in the assignments um, or in, anywhere uh, as one way to plot uh, the functions that you have. Um, previously, we, we, we have seen uh, how we can create plots in MATLAB using the plot, we can give them colors, but there are some cases like uh, what we have in the symbolic that easy plot can be helpful. So let's first uh, CLC clear, and if you are using Octave, make sure you need to package the symbolic. And now that this symbolic toolbox is ready, we can have the Sims T here. Um, can be sims t. Then let's say we have x equals uh, cosine three t and sine two t is y. Two functions are defined based on these parameters. And if we say easy plot x y, then we can generate this plot. <coughs> Let me bring it from the other screen. This is the plot that is generated. So different t's are given here. For example, t is given 0, when 0 is given, cosine 0 is going to be 1, which is x. And then we have um, sine of 0 is 0. 1, 0 is this point. This is a start point. Then t starts increasing, which results in the cosine to decrease and then from from 1, which is decreasing in this direction, and sine increases, and we get here t increases, then we have, so finally we get something like this. If needed, you can give interval, so you can see, for example, part of this uh, plot. Let's see one more example, seems this one. Um, easy plot. Let's see. This is a plot that we get. It is x squared plus y squared minus 1 equals 0. Uh, where is the... this is octo and this is the function. Um, if needed, as I mentioned, you can give the interval that you are interested uh, in, in, in this plot. For example, you can give f, comma, and inside the brackets you can give the interval for x and y. Let me show you what um, another example that is more similar to what we have in circuits. So CLC, let seems T here, T. And let's say we have solved the circuit and its current or voltage, let's say voltage, is finally 1 plus XP of negative T uh, divided by 3, for example. Okay, this is... 1 plus e to the power of negative t over 3. So now let's easy plot this. So this is what you have uh, in the assignments if there is any plots. So something like uh, what we are doing here can be done. This is not the only way. This video is going to show you one way you can uh, approach these problems. Easy plot. Let's go and create t and v here. t and v is created okay this is the plot for the um, one plus exp negative t over three as you see here but this is the zero if we give zero to this plot it is going to be two usually time starts at zero so that's the reason we might be interested in giving um, an interval easy plot uh, t v and let's give an interval is starting from 0 to 10 seconds. As a result, this is going to be our plot. 
at zero it is two and then uh, we have um, the rest of the plot uh, given here and if t uh, goes to infinity infinity this will become zero and it will converge to one that is what we are seeing here because this is two this is zero this is one so this is the convergence and this is the start point at two volts going gradually down to one here so uh, this is this this one was a simple example uh, about using easy plot uh, and as the name says it's really easy to use it and i don't think uh, there is any other plot that cannot be done uh, using easy plot um, we have very easy um, equations something like it. for example sign problem four is asking you to print um, i mean display or plot uh, the, the equations that are given and all of them are in this format so we just need to create the sims t uh, create ic then the other vc um, any voltage and current that is given and mostly they are in terms of exponentials and we just need to do one simple easy plot four lines of operations are needed so yeah take a look at this and if you have any questions let me know bye